Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films Foul Fridays. Today we are going to turn our focus and attention to Sitka gear. That is right, I'm sure a lot of you out there have asked yourself, why in the hell is this so expensive? Or, or is it even worth it? Is, is this product even worth the price of that? It is listed as because let me tell you what if you haven't looked at the prices of the stuff it is extremely expensive so a lot of you subscribers and returning viewers know that i do wear sitka but even though i do wear it i'm not sponsored i'm not this i'm not that i'm not advertising i'm just giving you my real two cents to help you decide if you want to invest or not so i'm going to base all of my ideas and my two cents off of the Delta jacket. Uh, it's, a, it's got the Gore, Gore-Tex re reinforced uh, wind stopper, but also my hunting crew that I, that I hunt with, m mainly waterfowl, and all of them w use it for deer, turkey, everything, uh, why they all own it. So this is gonna be a basic, if you should or shouldn't, buy it. So first off, I'm gonna start with the pros. I'm gonna go through pros and cons, but to start off the pros, if you have never worn Sitka, I will totally vouch in saying that it is the huntest gear out there. No, I haven't tried everything, but I've tried a lot of different stuff. And some coats and bibs being pretty expensive. I'm not going to throw names out there of companies, but I've spent money on some gear and I will vouch this stuff will keep you very warm. Very warm. I have personally wore my Sitka and I've worn some pants from some buddies so I actually had a whole outfit at times in some very very bitter bitter cold situations where you know the, the wind chill knocked stuff down below zero many a times and I will tell you what this stuff stops wind in its tracks. So first off very very warm. Second little advice uh, if you are an avid hunter, you don't necessarily have to be just a waterfowl hunter. If you hunt deer, turkey, anything in the cold, bitter, bitter cold especially, um, and you know that you're going to be an avid hunter for the next five plus years, no problem. Every year I'm going to be doing it. It is worth the investment. And I know Sitka has kind of a fad going right now. It's kind of the trendy thing to do in hunting is, oh, I got Sitka. It's a cool thing. Hey, I got some Sitka. Look at me. But I'm here to tell you that I will put, I would put, I put my name on it, that this stuff is by far the best. But like I said, all my buddies use it. We all hunt together every single season, waterfowl in particular, when you've got those bitter, bitter coals. And they all don't own it because it's cool. They own it because they're avid hunters and they know that they're going to be getting their use out of it. So, like I said, if you're not going to get your use out of it and you're not going to be an avid hunter every year, I don't recommend investing in it because it's really pricey and we're all budget, budget hunters out here, um, me including myself. So if you're going to use it, you know you're going to be putting it to use, you know you're going to be doing it, you know you're going to be getting the $300 it costs for a hoodie or jacket, I know. <laughs> but if you know you're going to be using it, you will get your money's worth, I promise you. The third reason I would tell you to buy it is that it's very fitting. It, it fits nice and tight. Here, actually, hold on. There we go. So first of all, this sucker, it's, it's slim. I just got a t-shirt under this. This is an extra large. I'm a six foot one man. Uh, I weigh 205 pounds. So for me, this thing fits slim. When you, when you have to go buy uh, coats that compare, that even somewhat compare to the warmth of this thing, they're gonna be large, they're gonna be puffy, and it's, gonna, it's not gonna allow you to shoulder the gun as quick, be as comfortable in the laydown blind. Taking up all that space, puffiness when you're shoulder to shoulder, or maybe you're in an A-frame blind or something. It's going to take a lot of that mobility and, and make it a lot better. It's going, to, it's going to allow you to be a lot more mobile. So in those bitter colds, I usually wear a uh, thermal underneath it, and that's it. It's just a thermal in this, and it can be in the teens with literally a single-digit di single wind chill, and I am good to go. So to add to 
the Comfort and Slim Fit. I want to show you the hood. I know I look very goofy with my uh, Smalley spotters on right now, but uh, look how look how tight it fits to your head. Literally, I mean, it just it fits directly to your head. It all has the Gore-Tex up here. You get no wind. A lot of times, you, you guys that watch my hunts, oh hello, hello. A lot of you guys that watched my recent hunts over this last last season have seen me just wear my 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 head mount for my GoPro directly over this and I'll tell you what when I do that it makes it so nice this thing you can tuck your face back here and dude best stuff I mean really so that's enough of the pros here's the cons so first con is if you're young and in your teenagers I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it but if you're still growing if you're not done like I said, a lot of us are budget-minded hunters. Uh, I know I am. That's why it took me literally three, four years to buy this stuff. If you're growing and you got the possibility of maybe growing out of this stuff, I don't recommend. Or I, I don't really recommend you getting it because you're going to have to either buy more, and you can't just resell this stuff for as much as you paid for it. So if you if you grow out of this stuff, man, it's a detriment to the old wallet. But if you have the money to purchase more. Go ahead, buy it up. I don't care if you're 10, 9, 8, 13, 11, whatever. Get it because it's really good. So, if you can afford this stuff, I do recommend buying it. I just want to let you guys know that I know there's a lot of fads out there, and you don't have to have Sitka to stay warm or have great hunts. There's a lot of products out there that you can go save your money and do just what the pros or do just what Tom, Dick, or Harry do just as well. But my view on Sitka is I kind of treat it like a nice little gift that you've earned over the time of your hunting. When you know you've, you're not going to stop hunting, you're going to want something that's going to last you a lifetime. And believe me, if you take care of this stuff, it will last you a lifetime. So usually in my past hunts, I have worn just regular bibs. I got them around here somewhere. Just regular, you know, Carhartt bibs underneath this. This year, I will buy the Sitka bibs and I know having two piece both layered up top and bottom I will be good to go in any weather but all summer long in this off season I'm gonna be kicking out these duck and goose how to's tips you guys ask questions I come back answer them I literally answer every question that you guys put on there every good question that you guys put on a video I answer go through go ahead and look so go hit that subscribe button if you are interested in getting more personalized how-to tips for waterfowl hunting. This coming season is going to be huge on the channel for waterfowl hunting. I'm so, so, so excited. I can't even, I can't even wipe the freaking smirk and smile off my face. It's going to be huge. So I, I encourage you guys to come on back. I, I try to get personal with each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you, your positive vibes, your positive feedback, dude. You guys rock. Like seriously, you guys will pick me up out of a slump and say, hey dude, you need to get to work. And uh, I, I have literally thanked every one of you that have sent me a message or left a great comment. Thank you guys so much. So, uh, we got mosquitoes already, man. It's bad. It's bad. I can't believe this. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. I'd like to see you guys come on back. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.